Okay, today we're going to be looking at deleting files that have dashes at the beginning of them, primarily double dashes. So I'm in a, a folder here that I created just for this tutorial. If I list out, you can see I have two files here. They're empty files, but they're, they're files nonetheless. One is called dash s help, and the other one's called dash dash file. Let's say I want to remove one of those. Let's start with the dash dash help. If I rm dash dash help, it's actually going to show me the help file for rm. So man rm, we can go in here, and if we scroll down, you can see that dash dash help displays this help and exits. So yeah, it thinks we're, at, we're running the option of help. My first thought when I came across something like this is to put single quotes around it. That does not work. My second thought was, oh, maybe I'll backslash them out. That does not work. So how do you remove a file that starts with a dash dash with uh, the rm command? Well, what we can do is we can say rm dash dash space and then the name of the file. And what this double dash here is doing is basically saying ignore these double dashes as far as being arguments. So any, any file we put past this that has double dashes, it's going to say, okay, that's not an argument, that is input. So I can do that and it removed it. I can list out and you can see I just have the file. Another way of doing it, so if we were to try to remove dash dash file, for example, which is not a command, uh, an option for RM, but it's seeing the double dashes and it's trying to run it as a command and it's going to tell us that that's not an option for RM. So we do that and it says unrecognized option dash dash file. And depending on your system, you may get this little suggestion here, which does work. So you just say dot slash saying in the current directory dash dash file. So I can do that. I can say remove that and now those files are gone. Now I can do the same thing to create those files. I actually, I was using touch and if I do dash dash help, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna run help for touch. So what I ended up doing was dash dash and then dash dash help and I'll do the same thing for file and I'll do one called test and if I list them out, you can see that I have three files listed like that. So we could also do something, remove uh, rm and then we can do asterisk, which is going to pass all the files in this current directory into RM. But we're gonna get the same little, well, I, my shell set up to give me a warning if I'm deleting multiple files. Yes, but it's gonna give me the same thing. It's gonna hit that first file and say, oh, sorry, we don't know what that option is. All files are still there. And if help was the first option, it would do the same thing, it would display the help file. So you have to remember is that the asterisk is not part of RM, it's part of your shell. And what it's basically doing is RM's not seeing the asterisk, it's seeing a list of files that it's putting, uh, that the shell's passing it. Depending on how your shell's set up, my particular shell, I'm running Z shell and the options I have set up in Z shell, if I was to hit tab right now, it actually puts those files there. This is actually what the command looks like. Uh, the asterisk is just a shorter way to writing it. So it's trying to loop through each one of those files, but it's seeing it as an option, not a file because of the dashes. But again, I can come in here and I can say rm dash dash, and I can give it those file names and hit enter and it just deleted all of them. And again, if I go back and I touch those files, like so, we'll just make two of them for now. I wrote it like this, but doing this is the equivalent. RM is seeing the same exact thing with the asterisk there. Of course, when I do that, my shell again gives me this warning, your shell may not give it, just depends on how you have it set up. I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna list it out, and those files are gone. So that's how you delete dash dash files, uh, name files with dash dashes at double dashes at the beginning of the file name. That's what I'm trying to say. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.